Okay, Li Wen Chen. Uh, thanks for donating like three months ago. These videos often lag a lot. They take me a long time to do sometimes. Um, <clears throat> and I am accidentally mistaked your uh, prize wheel with Luana Montanari and I actually did a 15 minute health consultation for her which was meant to be for you. <laughs> but never mind, here we are. And today we're going to go into the website I created, Consciousazine. And I mean, the whole thing of this website is, you know, a type of mental health because you can see. However, let's just go to, let's go to the holy stick. Still so annoys me that it comes up like this on the mobile phone, like... This is the worst possible menu that you could, you know, have. Because you can barely read it. <clears throat> now, I think it's because it's a hack. Someone's hacked the website. They also managed to stop the like button counter when I inserted the Facebook like button at the top of the page on Conscious Zen here. That stopped one time at 4,000 likes in like the first month or two or something, or the first year. And then it never counted more. Anyway, holy stick branch here is what I'm going into. Because I was talking about it the other day. And there's other subdomains there. Like this one. So then you see this is all that's on the page here. So then I just click into that. So, you know, just the whole whole setup of conscious zine is you know about healing and stuff like this so look at this wow i'm so happy i made this so long ago 2016 so it was just when i came to uruguay i think just before i came i made this subdomain holistic healing Yeah, look, there's a very important point, you know, like a Mars bar. So I didn't make this picture, but putting the Mars bar there and stuff and, you know, calling that a, a drug, I think was a really good idea for this picture. Because it's, you know, what commonly most people act like. They do all these things, right? Exactly all these things. And it's interesting, they got Ritalin in there. I took Ritalin for ADHD for like a year. It made me feel grey and I couldn't think properly. There was no more cosmic thoughts. Essentially, it turned me into an organic portable NPC. Surface body person. So Ritalin they put there for that reason as well. I'm sure to do with that. <clears throat> Yeah, and then, you know, these same people that say they don't do drugs, when they do all of this, they look down on you for doing, like, plants, plant medicines. <laughs> it's just funny. Alright, let's have a look what pages are in here. Um, yeah, it was the one with the... I'm trying to think where I put the... Uh, Trying to think where I put the um, oh look at that background picture though that's a really good one with the ants turning the color of what they're eating. Look at that. Without health, life is not life. It is but an image of death. For the Buddha. Interesting. I'm trying to find out where I put the. Diagram of hemp seeds. So, here, guys, is a, another page here which has a massive amount of information anyway. Look at all these PDFs. A lot of them from Joseph McCullough's website <coughs> that I took here. 
Oh, look at that. So this is just a mini health consultation. I obviously can't go right into all of this. And look, there's other ones from different websites like Green Med Info PDF on the dark side of wheat. Iridology. I need to learn that better actually, iridology for myself. So that we can look in the mirror and heal ourselves instead of going to the doctor, you see. Even more, look at this, even more PDFs. A wise man should consider that health is the greatest of human blessings and learn how by his own thought to derive benefit from his illness. To derive benefit from his illness from his own thought, said Hippocrates. That's another fantastic quote from him on health. And again, you know, just with the common cold, you don't have to go see the doctor for pills or anything. You just get on juices. Is there anyone out there who doesn't know this yet? Because I haven't tried it. I'm not trying to talk down on you, but it's, it seems so simple. That's why I took that tone of voice. Because it seems so obvious. Like, it'd be really weird to me to have someone come up and say that, like, you know, that they don't take juice when they get sick. Especially vegetable juices. That always heal me up so quick, you know, if I've ever been sick at, at all. And, you know, it's been a long time since I've had just, like, common cold. Here in Uruguay, I picked it up. But before, when I was in Australia and eating well, nothing. Surfing and stuff, I'd never, ever get sick. But here in Uruguay, I have, because it is a very interesting winter. And you get, like, this ice wind from Patagonia, from, you know, the bottom of Chile sweeping up over Uruguay and it like it's really cold suddenly gets your throat itchy and dry and stuff oh that picture <laughs> oh I actually wrote that there because I wrote orgono silica there so I must have written this that was when I was on the best stuff ever, as you can see. Organo silica is just the best. So good. Pure silica drink. So yeah, I was trying to find this hemp seed picture quickly. But yeah, go into this website, it's a really good one. Let's go into this medical medium here. Oh, that's the one we went to. Anyway, there's a really good picture here somewhere. <clears throat> um, well, that's a good one. Look at that food cravings and what you actually might need. If you're going for chocolate, you often need uh, nuts and seeds and vegetables, I would say, and fruit for the, uh, the um, sugar. That's why they've put that in there. Interesting, they linked it to magnesium. You could also say, you know, if you're after chocolate, you're after sugar as well. But yeah, I'd have to say that's a very interesting link, the magnesium one. It's a good one. Good little chart. They say if you want oily foods, you actually want calcium. See, I don't know about that. Sometimes you actually do want oily, like oil. There must be something in that chart, but, you know, it's not like the word of God, so to speak. Oh, there's all the little chickens being killed. I don't even want to play it. All the little male chickens, I think, being killed. Oh, there's me. With my billabong shirt. You can just see bong. <laughs> yeah, that was an awesome salad. I'm, I can still remember that. There's me again. Sitting up in the university, looking like I had an office. <laughs> I wasn't in an office, it was just like an area you could sit. Up at the Gold Coast uh, campus. So that's what was in that salad, and it was fucking amazing, and that's why I can't wait to uh, get back to Australia to eat things like that. So thanks for donating, and um, I'll leave you with chickpea cheese.